peace. It's divine understanding, born of law. 5% nation of gods and earth. You feel me? Uh, that's how I'm living, G. Anyway, my name y'all divine understanding, right? And I just want to say one thing to you. A few things, rather. When you do the knowledge to the Masonic laws in the wilderness of North America based on the original man in the wilderness of North America who study in Mason Tree, what you find is people in Mason Tree who are so-called what? The black man who is also a Christian. More than likely he's a Protestant uh, or Baptist, which is still falls under Protestant movement, or he is what is called a Pentecostal or one of those denominations. So what he does is he brings that with him into the lodge. So what you end up seeing is you see Christianity in the lodge when you see the black man in the lodge. That's an actual fact and a sort of a fact. So uh, they in turn uh, Christianize Mason Tree. Mason Tree when it was first formed and, and under the Europeans was supposed to be non-denominational and non-religious sect. And I'm talking about 1717 when the Europeans had it. Prior to the Europeans having it, you had King Solomon. King Solomon uh, manifested masonry. But prior to King Solomon is the ancient Kemet mystery system. So, when you go to the foundation to masonry, you go to Kemet. When you go to the foundation to the uh, fraternities, they go to Greek, but the Greece's foundation, Greece's foundation is Macedonian. The Macedonian foundation is still Kemet. You can't get past it. So it looks real tight when you got somebody uh, walking around singing uh, that cross song they like to sing. Something about they love the cross, they down with the cross, or whatever the case may be. It's still dealing with Christianity. So if you're a Mason and you're a Christian, then you're in contradiction of Masonry. Uh, if you deal with Masonic, teachings and you also deal with Christianity and you a black man now if you're a white man and you are a Christian and you in Mason Tree you basically in line with your shit is the black man see the black man you can't be under white man's Christianity and be right and exact there's no fucking way that you could have a white Jesus in 2010 and you right and exact and that means that you're enlightened nah you're not enlightened you're still considered the 85 pace it's divine understanding born of law Keeping it real on Set the Record Straight.